Great. Welcome back. Francesco here. Example two was running a little long. So we're going to do television studios uh, as the last portion for example number two. And then some further final thoughts to just talk about the topic of finding the major occupancy of any building. So this is a bonus. This is not actually part of question one, homework one, television studios, but let's see if we can figure this out. Again, this relates to the concepts covered in topic two. So if you've not reviewed that topic, make sure you review it. It's linked for you in the description below. Also, uh, part one of this example will also be linked for you in the description below. So if you haven't reviewed part one yet of these examples, go check it out. It's important because it shows you why we have to do certain things. Now, in order to complete the uh, task at hand, which is to find the major occupancy of television studio, what we want to use is this resource. Reference in Appendix A is going to be sentence 3.1.2.11, which is right here. This is what we're going to be using. Uh, and if you're wondering why and how, go back to the first part of this example and topic two. We're going to start right here. We're going to start with A1 and see if we can find television studios. We're going to read everything. It's in alphabetical order. And look at that. Right off the bat, I find something that has the word television studio. This one says admitting a viewing audience. So it's a maybe. Uh, it's a possibility that it could be an A1 major occupancy. Okay. Are we done? No, definitely not. And that's because we haven't read everything all the way to F3. So we continue. We have to go on and check out now if we can find television studios under A2. So we're going to read everything related to A2 right here. Is television studios there? No, nothing. So then we're going to go to A3. Whoops, sorry about that. A3 right here. Anything for television studios? No, I don't see anything there. How about A4? Anything for television studios? No, I don't see anything there after reading everything. How about B1? Anything there when I read that? Television studios? No, no luck. So far, it's looking like only A1. So why am I wasting my time looking at everything? Because you never know where it might appear again. So I'm going to read everything under B2. Television studios? No, no luck. Okay, then I'm going to move on to B3. Television studios here, read everything. No, I don't see anything there. So then I'm going to move on to group C. Anything related to television studios here? I don't see anything. I'm reading this, I'm reading this and nothing. So then maybe here, group D. What about group D? Anything related to television studios here? Reading everything, reading everything. No, nothing. Looks like I'm wasting my time. I, why am I reading everything? Do I not know any better? No, that's precisely the point. I don't. That's why I always check. So I'm reading everything, reading everything, television studios, nothing under group E. How about F1? Industrial. Anything here? High hazard industrial. Television studios. I don't see anything. Okay, how about medium hazard industrial under F2? Television studios. I read it. Ooh, wait a minute. What did I just find here? Television studios not admitting a TV audience, uh, a viewing audience. So this is a possibility. Could be F2. Okay. F3. Anything under F3? I read and I read and I read. Nothing. I don't see anything here. Okay. So look at this. We have two possible choices. We have F2 or A1. And that's all about whether or not a viewing audience is allowed to be admitted. So to summarize this, we have a, two options. We have A1 or F2. And it's all dependent on whether or not a viewing audience is allowed. If a viewing audience is allowed, then it's F2. A1. If a viewing audience is not allowed, then it's F2. So that's the whole point of why we always check everything, everything under our reference here in Appendix A. That's why we always read everything from A1 all the way to F3 
because certain building uses may appear under more than one major occupancy. So let me wrap this up. How would I solve this? What would be the answer that I would give? Well, I would say probably something like this. Therefore, this can be an A1 or an F2 major occupancy, depending on the viewing audience. If it's allowed, then it's A1. If it's not allowed, then it's an F2. And this is my final answer. It's a good answer because it also includes the reference that I used for this, and we're done. I hope this makes sense uh, together with part one of this example, which again is going to be linked for you in the description below. I hope this was helpful, and now hopefully you'll be able to solve all the other portions for question one, homework one. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a lovely day.